How Should Leaders Apologize? I'm Greg Schenkel, President of Unique Training and Development and Frontline Leadership Systems, and in this Leader Feeder, let's look at the art and science of an apology. In a recent Leader Feeder, I discussed how to rebuild trust after it's broken, and one of the steps is to offer a sincere apology. A recent study revealed some helpful suggestions on the difference between an ineffective and effective apology. Fortunately, we live in a world of second chances, but you want to help others to give you that second chance quickly. Whether you watch a politician, an actor, or a business executive apologize, there are clear differences between good and bad apologies. It can be tempting when you apologize to make excuses as to why circumstances contributed to you doing or saying something inappropriate. Unfortunately, the science shows that people are less likely to forgive you when you blame circumstances. In effect, they don't want to hear your excuses. The most effective apologies focus on the victims. People want to hear that you understand how what you said and did affected others. Let's look at two examples of an apology that a frontline leader might have to make in front of their team. Let's say the leader has promised the team that they'd be able to leave early if they achieved a certain target. Then the leader wasn't able to make that happen. The less effective apology would sound like this. Guys, I wasn't able to give you the time off I promised. I've been under a lot of stress lately and I promised some things I shouldn't have. And then management didn't back me up. That kind of an apology isn't going to sit well with your team. A more effective apology would sound like this. Guys, I wasn't able to give you the time off that I'd promised. I know this is a letdown for you as many of you might have made plans for getting off early. It turns out I shouldn't have made the promise in the first place. In the future, I'm going to do a better job of making promises I can keep. As a leader, you don't want to be always apologizing. But when you do need to apologize, make sure that you avoid excuses and focus instead of how it impacted on the team. They'll forgive you more quickly and they'll be more willing to trust you next time. Once you've mastered the art of maintaining and keeping trust and apologizing when needed, you'll want to work on some of your other leadership strengths and abilities. You can do that by visiting us online at uniquedevelopment.com or by connecting with us on social media. I look forward to being part of your leadership journey.